Sup, you've reached Clarissa. I'm out somewhere being da bomb and can't answer. My bad. <laughs> Leave me your name number and a sweet message and I'll hit you up later. Peace. Hey, it's Amelia. And Sherrick. You told us to call and let you know what we're doing. We're, we get your voicemail almost every week at this point. Oh, well, I guess we'll leave you a message about what we're up to and our pop culture thoughts of the week, and hopefully we'll hear back from you soon. It's almost like we have a podcast about how to stop faking orgasms, even though we went to theater camp. (laughs) What? I'm moving right along. Welcome. Um, (laughs) Welcome. How y'all doing? This pen is full of a lot of this, like, nail stuff. Anyway, hi. We miss you. (laughs) Welcome back. Hi, bestie. <laughs> oh, man. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Every once in a while, my goal is just to just cause chaos within Amelia's brain. And that typically goes with this with an intro that just makes her go, oh, I got to stop. And I know when she blows her cheeks out, that's when I know I've done it. <laughs> 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 I know speechlessness is sure to follow. Oh, when those boy. cheeks puff out. I'm like, yep, I did it. I did correct. <laughs> anyway, how y'all doing? Amelia, how are you? I'm good. It's yeah. the middle of the week for me. Uh, this will not be for, well, it might be the middle of the week when you listen to this because I don't know when you yeah, listen to it. But yeah, whenever you want. Yeah, so I'm a little out of it, but that's maybe better we don't know Mm -hmm. (laughs) we'll find out yeah i'm trying to think if there's anything going on not really i mean just before we started we were talking about c2e2 coming up which we did that's exciting i'm sure we'll talk about it next month um Mm -hmm. but other than that i'm just chilling and waiting for warmer weather. That which yeah, is what I say every week. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we 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 had a nice string of like seventies, and then it was in the thirties, and it snowed like two inches, and then it was immediately gone the next day or the day after, and then it got cold and again, and now it's cold and rainy, and then it's supposed to be in the fi- like it snowed today, mm-hmm. and then it's then it got warm, and then the rain was too warm for the snow, so the snow all evaporated mm-hmm. into water, or it, 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 yeah, I guess it, it 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 moved from more of a solid to more of a liquid. <laughs> the, the stages it did not become a plasma though, uh, and, <laughs> but it's supposed to be like in the fifties next week, and so it, mm-hmm. I was just like I was talking to uh some clients today we were on a big client call and i was just you know like that's kind of like the small talk that just that sent that yeah. tends to just land when in a corporate setting is talk about the weather because no one's yeah. gonna have a either people are gonna feel one or two ways about it they're either gonna love the mm-hmm. weather they have or they're gonna hate it like there's mm-hmm. not really gonna be an in-between so yeah. i was like i was just telling them that and i went april with a thumbs up and the, like i got a laugh <laughs> out of like this, this a couple of them and i was like yeah i love it so i was just like yep that's april (laughs) they're all very nice people i like them a lot so that's good i gotta say like it's it's really refreshing and interesting and cool to have like to be in like a corporate environment where people just don't take themselves so seriously like Mm -hmm. like when the meeting starts we're all like very like okay yes this is a serious thing that we're talking about but like also like no one like if someone cracks a joke it's not just like that was was inappropriate like you know like yeah my job is like that too and it's nice Mm. yeah yeah so i'm i'm very much a fan uh of of being able to have that kind of rapport with people mm-hmm. and stuff, so. i can say snarky shit and nobody i don't get in trouble yeah like, like <laughs> there's still exactly and there's still a boundary line oh, that yeah. i understand and appreciate but like yeah. ultimately like if i make a joke about like somebody just not like being like oh like I urgent Sherrick, I urgently need you to, to to talk about this thing that's going on with my profile. And I'm like, cool, awesome. Here's my calendar. Let me know when works to meet. And then they don't respond. And I'm like, well, it can't have been that urgent. If I was like, okay, just like you can get on my calendar tomorrow. Just like let's instead of like going doing like a back and forth, I have mm-hmm. like a, a link where people can see my calendar mm-hmm. and say, I want that time because he mm-hmm. has it available. Mm-hmm. And then it immediately creates the meeting. And 
uh, you know, it's it's just so funny to me how often that kind of thing happens. But being able to crack a joke like that and no one gets too mad about it is or, or mad about it at all really is, mm-hmm. is nice. Mm-hmm. So yeah, today. Oh, that's okay. So I maybe do have a really quick story. So Get today, it. um, we have like Google Chat, and so we have like an all staff Google Chat. Um, mm-hmm. my company's only like twenty five people, so it's not sure. it's not huge. Um, and somebody wrote in there like hey I got a new Apple TV set up to my like we have a lot of TVs and offices and conference rooms and stuff so that we can project or like you know from your computer and put it up on a big screen um and we use Apple TVs because we use Apple like everything anyway sure he was like I got a new Apple TV and my TV in my office what should I name it and people were like listing off stuff and they were just like I don't know, weird stuff. But the my favorite one is, okay, so the guy who wrote this is named Patrick. Sure. Pat. He goes by Pat, but his full name is Patrick. Mm-hmm. And somebody wrote, no, this is the Krusty Krab. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. I got that joke. <laughs> or no, is this the Krusty Krab? That's what it is, yeah. Is this the Krusty Krab? And I was like, that is the best name. That right there. <laughs> But then I wrote, actually, it should probably just be Pat's office because that's how we mm-hmm. name everything. And yeah, why not? I'm all for naming things fun, but like. It's also helpful when it's like, okay, this is Pat's office. So it's, it connects to yeah. Pat's office, you because, know, like. Right. Because um, I'm the one that has to deal with shit when it breaks down. And so having to figure out where it is or what it is or how it's named. Yeah, no, I, I'd rather it be easy. <laughs> and so I said that. And, and somebody's like, oh, that's so boring. And I was like, yep, that's me. <laughs> anyway, well, how's your be- week been? It's been good. Honestly, it's been, uh, totally, totally fine. Actually. Um, it's just a lot of like, like, like what we were talking about earlier, just like stressing out about potential stuff for c2e2 we both want to mm-hmm. cosplay we both don't really know what to cosplay mm-hmm. i didn't get my badge in the mail though so that's cool yep uh figured out late that i'm uh gonna be going to the midwest gaming classic which by the time you're hearing this will have come and gone more than likely oh, okay. but it's a it's a really cool uh thing that happens and i don't have to travel very far to go and oh, do nice. it it's a thing that we can literally just go downtown in milwaukee oh, okay, and see cool. it and then we can then that that's the end of it you know so it's nice to be able to just be like cool i'm gonna go and see like a bunch like my my buddy shadow temple is gonna be there so shout out to him he's obviously gonna hear this after the fact but (laughs) uh um and and some other people that i know are gonna be there also so it's it's Mm -hmm. nice to to just spend a day with a a friend of mine and Mm -hmm. not have to like like it's not gonna be like c2e2 where we obviously have to make a whole weekend of it so yeah nice but yeah so yeah that's that's pretty much it for that side of things oh mm-hmm. um I, this obviously is not an ad They're, they don't support us or anything like that but um i think i may if i didn't tell you i got a new flavor of the the um gg supplement that i use it's mm-hmm. caffeine free which okay. was a big selling point for me because i was like i know like especially with like the Panera situation and all that stuff. Like people are very wary about like energy drinks and supplements and things of that nature. Um, But it's like a, it's a company that like supports uh, streamers, mostly like VTubers and what have you. And like, if you get in good enough with them, you can like create your own flavor. So like the two flavors that I had before were called uh brand risk. So it was like a peach mango flavor. Oh, nice. And then there was a, another flavor and I know people are going to laugh. It's called blowhole blast <laughs> because it's from a VTuber that's supposed to be an orca. So it's like, instead of Baja blast, it's blowhole blast. So gotcha. like, yes. And then the new flavor I got was from uh, one Stephen He. So if, if, if me saying that should probably key you in, but if you don't know who he is, he's the guy that says emotional damage. <laughs> <laughs> so the flavor is emotional damage. Nice. Uh, it's like a. It's very much like a um. What you call it? Like a like a like a nineties Kool Aid flavor. Hmm. Like the cool, like the red Kool Aid fruit punch, mm-hmm. or if you had like a, a Capri Sun, like their fruit punch flavor, mm-hmm. 
it it, it tastes it has that kind of a sense to it gotcha. which i was like this is the best emotional damage i've ever experienced <laughs> by a country mile so nice yeah i think that's great so yeah that's more or less what i've been up to i feel like i'm missing something but i can't think of what it is so that's okay yeah. All right, so uh, shall we get to uh, what we what we talking about today? Yeah. So I thought it's been a while since we've done a music video. It's been breakdown. a while. <laughs> and I just pulled one off of a list that we had made a long time ago, mm-hmm. and I've never seen it, and I have no idea what we're in for. It could be boring as hell. I don't know. Um, <laughs> So, um, yeah, but it's uh, Billy Ocean's Get Out of My Dreams, Get Into My Car, a uh, classic song. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, I don't, that's really all I have to intro it. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, uh, I've heard this song, obviously, a couple of times. Uh, mm-hmm. Not all the way through, though, because this is a song, this is a song that I, was very much, like, used in a ton of commercials especially car commercials in like the late 80s early 90s mm-hmm. um i don't remember exactly when this this song debuted, I think it's from if the you 80s. Will. yeah i want to say that that's correct as well this this particular version of it that i found is from the billy ocean youtube channel mm-hmm. so if you don't know what we're about to do uh basically what you need to know is that we find a music video we're gonna watch it right here with y'all listening to us i mean uh giving our feedback on it uh Mm -hmm. this was actually released the so yeah 88 so this was definitely like a a a thing for like if you were trying to promote a sporty vehicle or if you were trying Mm -hmm. to promote like going on a trip someplace especially out of the country it was like you know the idea basically being like you know get 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 out of my dreams it as in, like, you don't have to wonder about it anymore. You can get into this fancy vehicle. It's not a dream anymore kind of a thing. That is, that's as far as it was used in car commercials, of course. But, like, mm-hmm. all right. So I, we'll stop talking about it. Uh, you know, if you want to sync up with us, Amelia is going to count us down in a little bit. So you can watch the, the music video alongside us and all that good stuff. And then you can hear our commentary on it. And then we'll probably, you know, expound upon it as much as we can after the end. And then we'll, you know, we'll end the voicemail. So... <laughs> I'm ready when you are. Yeah, so I'm going to say one, two, three, go, and press play on go. So for everybody listening, one, two, three, go. Car engine revving, car starts. He looks in the mirror. He pulls off. Intro to the song. (laughs) That synth, though. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) <laughs> the car horn is so stupid. <laughs> Get in my car! Are you, you kidnapping these people? Basically. I love the stutter edit. It's such a fun bit. She got a lot of hair packed underneath oh, that head. Oh, Who's that lady? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I you know he's driving on the right hand. You know he's got a right-handed vehicle. He's got a British car. Oh yeah. At least no, yeah, it is okay. Pull pulling the sunroof down, taking the car through the car wash. Oh, he's Trinidadian and British. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. He's in several different cars now. Oh, cartoon water inside Jeez. the car. That is that is definitely an eighties animated fish. Holy shit. Yeah, it's um it's giving MC Scat Cat energy. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. The champion sign in the background. That logo was on a shirt I used to own. It didn't say champion. But, hey, that's my bumper, you asshole. What the fuck? (laughs) Don't backflip off my bumper. 
That's like thirteen hundred dollars of the damage you just did. <laughs> Assholes. Ooh, touch my bumper. Uh, no, don't touch my bumper. That's thirteen hundred dollars of the damage. <laughs> he said it, not me. Shit. This weird ass duck. <laughs> this fucking jamming, not Daffy, Daffy Duck. This is we have no. Daffy Duck at home. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Gentlemen just, you know, showering on the street like you do. While someone else just watches. Oh god, this is creepy as fuck! These like faces. <laughs> just cartoon faces in my face. Oh, children. Random children? Oh. Is that Beetlejuice? Teens. What the fuck? Somebody's covered in the food in the background there. Oh, and he's back in the car with her now. Yep. This fucking duck. I can't. I love that they, like, the idea that you just throw a bunch of fucking animals, like, put teeth in their mouth regardless of whether or not they have them. Yes. (laughs) You're just like, (laughs) duck teeth, fish teeth, who gives a shit? Yep. Oh, now they're at the drive-in. He got the broad shoulders zoot suit on doing backflips with a saxophone, baby. That's a tenor sax right there. That's, I'm into it. Oh, roller skating waitresses. I, I love the whole bit where, like, people just, like, are skating with food and they fall. Like, I feel bad saying that. It's so funny to me. I love he how change, he's the he change coming? Oh. There it is. I love that he's watching himself perform. I know. He also was <laughs> on the big screen and on the stage. <laughs> yes. At one point. Why not? Music videos don't have to make sense. Nah. Usually the less sense they make, the better we can make out of them. So. Yeah, that's true. Uh, all right, so... We we have the duck doing doing a lot of dance moves, and then it cuts to to people doing the same dance moves. Mm-hmm. I I have to say, uh, that's the fastest four and a half minutes I think I've ever experienced. <laughs> Seriously, especially because like, like a song like that is often like three minutes max, mm-hmm. right? When there's not much to it, and it's a lot of chorus over and over again. But and apparently that's that's just the me. single version. There's the there's an album the album version is a minute and a half, is a minute longer. What? Yeah. Oh, the yeah. album version 536. is 536. What the hell? What do they do? Mm. Extended Don't know. version. I can't. Oh, okay. So this featured in the 1980 American teen comedy film License to Drive. Ah, okay. Let's see who's in License to Drive. Oh my god! It's Mm -hmm. a Corey Haim, Corey Feldman movie. (laughs) All right, interesting. So, yeah, so if you don't know who... If you don't know who uh, Billy Ocean is, born Leslie Sebastian Charles, he's 74 years old now, but uh, I I just feel like Billy Ocean has been making just like tons of very very good music for a very long time Mm -hmm. it's stuff that like you may probably have heard of it and you just don't you can't quite like pin it to to who made it it's like oh that's a billy ocean song you have no idea yeah uh there's a song called nights uh parentheses feels like getting down probably my favorite billy ocean song and i had Mm -hmm. no idea that it was it was billy until like semi recently but it's a very good song i highly recommend you give it a give it a, a check but yeah, yeah i feel I like i made a lot of name i could not name billy ocean song other than this get out of my one of these nights feel car. like getting down i don't want to get copyright struck <laughs> you know but i love this wikipedia part of its popularity this is the music video um part of its popularity lay in its cutting edge for the time music yes, video 100 <laughs> percent Because now it just looks so cheesy. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, also, not to be confused with Frank Ocean, completely different artist. Mm-hmm. Not by the way, related. not related. No, yeah. but they both have a song I think called "Nights," but it is not. Um, I, I possibly. But yeah, let's see. He did win an award for this song, the most uh, as far as like most performed song uh, for the uh, the ASCAP Pop Music Awards in 1989 for this this particular song. Um, let's see. Like I said, he's very he's very popular. Um, like you said, very cutting edge. Uh, he won a novella. He was he was nominated. Sorry for uh, an Ivor Novella Award. Uh, did not win. But his discography is huge. He 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 most recently put something out in 2020, a, the, an album called One World, um, which there doesn't seem to be too much info on. But mm-hmm. uh, so from 1976 until at least 2020, he was making making some music and he's an MBE. So, you know, he's been honored mm-hmm. member of the British Empire, which mm-hmm. to think of to think of the fact that that's like an honor worth having is interesting from, <laughs> like from an Niger empire status. Sir. Yeah. Essentially, yeah. yeah. But like it's the Empire thing that gets to me, but it is right. what it is. I know. I love this though. It says that this song is parodied by Jason Sudeikis on SNL mm-hmm. as a as a song from the worst of Soul Train, um, with the title of the song being Get Out of My Car and Get Into My Trunk. Oh no. No, don't do this. Stop, please. I mean, I get it. It does sound kind of weird. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, especially considering like the, the, the song begins with him him driving up to a bunch of people that has a hot lady in the center and him going, mm-hmm. Hey you, get into my car. You're it's like, like um... that's a product of the eighties and the eighties alone. You can't say that shit anywhere outside of it. Okay, but even by the eighties it was like I mean, the seventies were full of hitchhikers who got yeah. just went missing. I'm. I don't necessarily disagree. I'm just saying, like, yeah. bruh. I've just seen enough true crime to know that there was rampant hitchhiking in the seventies, mm-hmm. and bad people took advantage of that fact. Anyway, yeah. It's the thing is, is like you said, it went by so fast and yet I could not tell you anything about the song other than the title of the song. Like I could sing that part, but Mm -hmm. like at the very beginning when he started singing, I was like, oh, a verse. And then Mm -hmm. I never clocked a verse again. And I don't, that doesn't mean there wasn't one. It just like, it's almost like it, like mesmerizes you or something a little a little bit yeah and i i will say that like a lot of it sounds very similar to the chorus but it's like it's like a derivative lyric so he'll be like okay you know so instead of saying like get like get into my car he'll say like get into my ride you know like it's Mm -hmm. so it's it's what it's a very it's like indicative a lot of a lot of like 80s songs like I'm trying to think of um what's the name of the dude that did the Ghostbusters theme? Uh Ray oh, Parker Jr. Like yeah. it, it gives me Ray Parker Jr. vibes. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Especially like if you li- I guess if you especially if you listen to Ghostbusters by Ray Parker Jr., it's just kind of that that backbeat is very similar. Mm-hmm. And it kind of lulls you into like, oh, you really only know like the get out of my dreams, get out, get into my mm-hmm. car bit, because you're kind of just like listen. Except for the the busted makes me feel good because that obviously just breaks the spell immediately. Mm-hmm. You, then you're just like, oh wait, where well, am I? Also, part of the lyrics are, "I'll be your nonstop lover, get it while you can. Your nonstop miracle, I'm your man." Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yep. Cool. So cool, cool, you know, cool. um, yeah, it's ultimately you know, it's it's kind of. There's like little mini stories told here and there. Like they go through mm-hmm. a car wash and then they meet up with some other folks. A mm-hmm. minor accident happens. I think it's, I think it, the, the thing that, that is, that actually is the most out of the plate, out of place for this is the animation. Yeah. Because it's like ultimately like there's a fish, there's a duck, duck. And then there's like the three gas pumps have like eyes and a mouth on them for a little bit. Yeah. And then it's really that's, random and weird. Yeah, yeah. It just feels, it feels very out of place. Mm-hmm. If it had you know, just been that duck, the duck that like danced around, and then the, yes. the duck that like 
played saxophone because I feel like mm-hmm. it was maybe supposed to be the same duck. I don't know. Possibly, yeah. Then it like would have made more sense. Again, it would have given me like uh, MC Scat Cat. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It just felt very like it felt like oh we can do this fun thing in this video so let's mm-hmm. do it. But it didn't really lead anywhere. Like it doesn't. Right. There really it, wasn't a if, point to if it. If I may criticize, it doesn't really add to the video, in my right. opinion. And I was it, like, I was wondering if maybe the movie that this was in had some animation in it, but it yeah, does I not no appear idea. to be. So, yeah. no idea. Yeah, no, I looked it up, and um, so you know, yeah, it's like that, fam. It's like that. So, I mean, yeah, it's it's definitely a pretty decent music video. I thought it was. I thought it was fun to listen to, but mm-hmm. other than that, I really don't have much to kind of add. So Billy Ocean's still good. Like I said, very, mm-hmm. very fun to listen to. But, you know, this is mm-hmm. probably going to be uh, uh, one that we don't have <laughs> add, <laughs> add a lot to, to to say there. So that's OK. Yeah, I think. Mm-hmm. It's just fun to to do something different every so For often sure. and see something. For sure. No doubt about it. <laughs> so, yeah. So if you had thoughts about it, feel free to let us know what you thought. That mm-hmm. is uh, at uh, A-S-W-A-Y-D-P-O-D at gmail.com or on the Instagrams. You mm-hmm. can hit us up there. And then, you know, you could also hit up Amelia at Fuck the Perfect Life or Shake Meets World and me at A Black Sparrow, most places. Um, I'm beginning to upload my tiktoks that are from the home safety hotline playthrough so one of them just went up today i put it on twitter even it's on twitter it's on it's on uh tiktok and it's on instagram so there's no excuse for you not to at least see it someplace so that i have like it's so weird to me that the game exists but it was hilarious watching you play it (laughs) thank you and i yeah i've had i've had a lot of people say that they they really like the customer service bit of it so it's just a shame i don't know if there's too many more games that are out there that that are similar to that but it might get bored it might get old after a bit so but yeah um so yeah that's what i've got uh except Mm -hmm. for i didn't make up theme song for it it's amelia what the fuck is this so This is the part of the episode where I find something wild and crazy kids and I give it to Amelia without uh, without much context, except for that there's no sound on this one for the first Ooh. time in a long time. So. Yeah, it has been a long time. Okay, let's see. <laughs> what? I can't even imagine the sound that was with this video. <laughs> it is what, appear- what I would guess is a dorm room. <laughs> And it is somebody opening some sort of rosé. <laughs> it's I feel like it's got to be like some sort of champagne or something, but it's like colored like rosé. Anyway, mm-hmm. um, we are the wrong people to ask about identifying alcohol. <laughs> so, yeah, you are correct um, on this one. But it is this... This woman sitting on a desk chair backwards opening this champagne and it just like spurting out everywhere. But like I said, it's run backwards. So it like, I don't know, it just looks really bizarre. But I also like how she tries to use her mouth to keep it from like going everywhere Mm -hmm. (laughs) at first. Um, That's not going to work, honey. Oh man, that's so bizarre. So it's funny that you ended up picking this one because obviously I always give you a choice because Mm -hmm. I was on TikTok last night and I've learned, I've learned what people will do on TikTok uh, lives now for attention. Mm. Uh, And the one that, the, the, the one that caught my eye, I'll get, I'll just cut right to the chase is it was a dude and he had like one of those like huge, like water drums. Like, you know, that like people will have like, for like a water cooler back when off like people would be in the office except it was like mm-hmm. twice the size of that like it was okay. extremely wide mm-hmm. and it just said pepsi on the front mm-hmm. and it had the it had like it what i presume to be pepsi in it mm-hmm. and then he had an, an additional one on top with a paper in between like a like a cardboard like thick piece of cardboard in between okay and it was full of what i can only presume to be like giant mentos and it said mentos on the top uh-huh 
And he kept being like, oh, oh I'm going to pull it. Like, we're going to pull it, Chad, as soon as we get to it. I'm like, you're not going to, you're never going to fucking pull it, dude. And it's like, not going to work here. anyway. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I can sit here for hours and hours and you're never going to pull that away. Or like another one that I see on TikTok a lot is like people will be like acting really scared and they'll either have like a valve or like a pump and there'll be a water balloon over their head that's like just oh, full of water. Gotcha. And they're like, oh, no, this next one could. I'm so scared. And I'm just like, I I get it. It's a smart way to like try and get people to tune in because it's like you don't know when it could break. But like yeah. or or I've seen ones, too, where people will be like, oh, oh, chat, we got to as soon as we hit to 10K, then I'll do this thing. And then it's like mm-hmm. you look up and it's like 10.2K and they're like, oh, my God. Oh, oh, we got the 10.2K. As soon as we get to 11, we'll do the <laughs> thing. And I'm like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Oh man! If you yeah, ever I've, like never listener, really done, I've never really paid attention to TikTok live. Yeah, so. listener, if you ever, ever, ever in your life see me on a TikTok live doing some shit like that, you have full you have full credence to come up and just smack me on the wrist and go, "No, stop it. <laughs> you stop that." <laughs> You're better than that, Sherrick. Yeah, you're better than that. Knock that shit off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, that's funny. Uh, all right. Well, that I think that's all we've got for you uh, in, in compensation for going along a couple of weeks. I guess mm-hmm. this this we probably didn't hit the limit on your voicemail, but we're probably going to let you go anyway. Yeah, we're giving <laughs> so, we're giving you and it a breather. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I guess I guess next week I'll, t- I'll I'll tell you about how I'm pretty spontaneous and I wear the same pair of glasses every week. OK, bye. <laughs> Or also, damn, the notification that I was hoping for isn't actually the Amazon delivery I ordered. It's actually a loving note from a friend. (laughs) God damn it. (laughs) Anyway, bye.